Yeah, I guess this is just a lesson to uh, not always believe what you hear. Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Today we're gonna try to fix this really sad looking Murray Select 22 with a four horse Briggs. Backstory on this is it just didn't start after winter storage, which I'm sure you guys can relate to. So let's dig into it. So before we even mess around trying to get this thing running, I wanna flip this thing upside down and see if we have a bent crank. I really don't wanna be messing around with something that is kind of a lost cause. So what I'm doing here is with the plug boot unplugged, rotating the engine, holding my thumb in one position to see if we got a bent blade or crank. And it looks like we're good. All right, well, if you guys didn't know, this uh, style of engine is called a Briggs Classic. It's the one with the carb mounted on top of the tank here. And before we start digging into this thing, let's just confirm that it does not start. Sometimes the uh, previous owner is not the best source of information on a piece of equipment. So one, three primes. sure what they were talking about they couldn't get it to start maybe they just didn't push the primer but the thing runs fine um yeah i guess this is just a lesson to uh not always believe what you hear so this will kind of i guess transition into more of a spring prep video unfortunately so yeah let's just keep going so we'll get that blade off and sharpen that but while this is upright let's take a look at the air filter this is, should be a foam type and usually they're pretty dirty. And that does not look like the right one. So it's correct, it's a foam filter, but it should be in the shape of this kind of trapezoidal air filter box. So it looks like the filter that's in here is for one of those plastic carb brigs that has the uh, push primer on the side. It's in good shape, so I'm gonna leave it, but I'll get you guys the right part number if you're interested in uh, this specific type of air filter. Hey guys, breaking in here quick to tell you, I'm fairly certain the center cup piece is actually upside down here. So make sure you do the right thing, unlike me, and check to make sure it's the right orientation because it'll affect how your air filter works. Let's check the oil next. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys saw it smoking a little bit when it was running, but I kind of suspect that this was overfilled. If not, this uh, engine might have a little bit more use than I thought. We're actually a little low. Sometimes that smoking, when you get a piece of equipment, it's just from handling. Maybe someone muscled it into a, a truck or something and the, the oil kind of went through the uh, intake system or dribbled out onto the exhaust a little bit. But yeah, we'll get that changed out once we uh, get done with sharpening the blade. Okay, we are flipped up again. We're gonna get this blade off and sharpened. And it looks like this uh, kind of baffles mangled. So we'll fix that while we're underneath here. It's a one half, or sorry, nine sixteenths. My battery's dead. All right. Pretty bad shape. I'll show you guys how I sharpen these things. Okay, sharpening blades. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can use a file. You can use a flap disc on an angle grinder. With this one, I'm gonna use an actual metal disc. And I just try to follow the profile and clean up the edge. There's a lot of dingers in this one. So we're gonna just make sure they're sharp. We're not gonna try to get a, a complete straight edge. A sharp ding still cuts grass.
All right, well, we're as sharp as we're gonna get. The blade really should be replaced, and I don't know if I mentioned it before, this is a neighbor's machine, so I'm just trying to keep it going for them. So I'm not trying to throw a bunch of new parts at it. This is already a super old machine and uh, probably ready for replacement as a whole anyway. But before we get that blade put on, let's straighten this thing out. grab a hammer so that should keep that out of the blade path and I'm gonna rotate this and make sure that baffle doesn't hit anything we're good there well we got the pliers out let's see if we can't fix this not sure what happened here there we go. all right all right, well, we're gonna start this thing up, let it get warm, get that old oil out of there, get some fresh stuff in. All right, this is what we got. Really old, maybe eight ounces. You can see that, if it focused, there you go. So we're low, let's get some new stuff in. Okay, I'm not sure what the capacity on these are. My guess would be somewhere around 12 or 13, but we'll just check it periodically as we're filling. All right, I think we're good there. After we run it for a little bit, we'll check it again. All right, let's clean this thing off. that dry in the sun and test it so I was letting this dry checking the uh, height adjusters and this one is frozen so let's see what we can do to loosen that up I think we gotta take the wheel off here first <clears throat> my guess is we got to loosen this There we go. All right, yep, adjusting easy now. All right, guys, well, I guess that'll do it for this one. She's ugly, but everything's functional on it. It runs and it'll cut. Fix some minor things like the self-adjuster and that baffle. So yeah, I was hoping to get into that carb with you guys. It would have made a better video, but hey, it is what it is. We'll get it on the next one, I guess. But yeah, hopefully uh, what we covered helps somebody out. Thanks for joining me on this one, and I'll catch you on the next one.